Equation of line in intercept form. Find equation of a straight line which passes through the point 3, 4 and the sum of whose intercepts on the coordinate axis is minus 6. This time we are going to solve this problem using equation of line in intercept form. What we are given here is that the line goes through the point 3, 4, so the point P on the line is 3, 4. And sum of whose intercepts on the coordinate axis is minus 6. So let us say A and B are x and y intercepts, then A plus B equals to minus 6. So this is what is given to us. Now from here we can write what A is in terms of B. We can say A equals to minus 6 minus B. Now equation of line in intercept form is x over A where A is the x-intercept plus y over B where B is the y-intercept is equal to 1. Now we can use the point which is 3 comma 4 3 is the x value, 4 is y value. And then A and B are x and y intercepts and we know A in terms of B. So instead of A, we can write minus 6 minus B. So we get our equation now as substituting the point and the value of A in terms of B. X value is 3, so we get 3 over. Instead of A, I'm writing minus 6 minus B plus y over b equals to 1. Now in this equation we have only one unknown. Okay, y is 4 for us. I should have written 4. So we get 4 over b. Now we have only one unknown. So what we'll multiply. So we can multiply both sides by b times minus 6 minus b, right? So if we do that, what do we get? We get 3b in the first term plus 4 times minus 6 minus b equals to b times minus 6 minus b. Great. So we multiplied both sides by minus 6 minus b avoiding fractions. Now we can bring all the terms together and solve for b. We have 3b minus 4 times 6 is 24 minus 4b equals to minus 6b minus b square. Bringing terms to the left, we get b square. 6b becomes plus 6b. We already have 3b here. And also minus 4b minus 24 equals to 0. Let's combine the terms b square. 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 minus 5, minus 4 is 5. So get plus 5b minus 24 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can factor. Um, we need two numbers whose product is minus 24. The end sum is 5. So it could be 8 and 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And when we add them, we should get 5, that means 8 is positive. So we can write this as b plus 8, right, times b minus 3, so equals to 0. So that is the factored form of our quadratic equation. And now from here, we can solve for b, right? So b could be what? So we are moving from this place to the right side of the page. So let me rewrite the equation. We have b plus 8 times b minus 3 equals to 0. So that gives you two values of b. So b could be equal to minus 8 or b could be equals to plus 3, right? So two different values of b, the y-intercepts means two different equations, right? So, so two different solutions. So we are looking for two solutions now. Let's see what these solutions are. So if b is minus 8, then what is a equals to? So we know a will be equals to minus 6 minus of minus 8, which is equals to minus 6 plus 8, which is 2. In this case, a will be equals to minus 6 minus of 3, right? 
which is minus 9. So we get two values. So basically we get one set where a is 2, b is minus 8 and the other set is a with minus 9 and b is plus 3, right? So that gives us two different equations. So these are the values of a and b. Substituting these values of a and b in our original equation, let me say this equation 1, right? So this probably here let me say this as 2. The combination of A and B points gives us two solutions. And our solutions are, if X is 2, X over 2. Y is minus 8. So we can write here minus Y over 8, correct? Equals to 1. The other one is A is minus 9. So let me write this as minus X over 9. Y is plus 3 plus y over 3 equals to 1. So these are the equations in the intercept form, right? Well, you can also get equations in the standard form or slope intercept form from here, correct? But in any case, these are standard equations and we can always write them as our answer. I hope you appreciate the solution, right? And you can do the needful in case you want to write these equations in a different form. Now it's a good idea to check whether the point 3, 4 really lies on this or not, right? If you substitute 4, for example, here for y, then what do you get? We get 4 over 8 is half. When you add to this side, it becomes 1.5, 1 and a half. 1 1.5 times 2 is indeed 3, correct? Right? So that's right. Similarly, you can substitute, let us say, x as 3 here, because 3 is a factor of 9. So if I write 3 here, then I get 1 over 3. Correct? And multiplying everything by 3 will give us y equals to 1 plus 3, right? So because this will be 1, and when you multiply by 3, you get 3 here, which is 4. So we get the same point, correct? So that is how we can get the equation of line. So let me actually multiply by 8 and then we get 4x and here we get minus y equals to 8. So that is one way. Let's multiply this by 9. In fact, let's multiply this by minus 9. So if I do minus 9, I get x here minus 3y equals to minus 9. Putting all these things together, writing them in standard form, we get 4x minus y minus 8 equals to 0 or x minus 3y plus 9 equals to 0. So that becomes our equation in standard form. So you could do that also. So that is how we can solve this question. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.